Good evening, YouTubers. It's Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you from the Hot Lead Zone, and this is my Marlin 336 lever action rifle in 3030. And no, it's not loaded. But as you know, it comes with our recoil pad because it doesn't need one. But in my case, the rifle has too short a length of pull for me. So I like a more proper length of pull and the way we used to measure length of pull kind of a rule of thumb is to put the stock into the crook of your arm and then the trigger finger should be right on that first joint well the 336 Marlin is too short for me so I need to have an extension to get a right length of pull now the the best way to do length of pull is to shoulder the weapon and put your face on the comb and your nose should be about two and a half inches to two inches from your thumb. From the joint of your thumb to your nose should be about two to two and a half inches. But a good rule of thumb is right in the crook of your arm and it should be right on your trigger finger. Well, when I put this Butler Creek slip-on recoil pad on, it becomes the right length of pull for me. Now, notice how nice a setup that is. This is the small size Butler Creek recoil pad. And you put the bottom end, the, the bottom of the heel on first and then pull the top over and when you get it all squared up on the end of your stock you can punch a hole where the sling swivel stud goes and put the, sw the sling swivel stud back in and what that does is it further anchors the recoil pad and it re restores your sling swivel a nice setup fits real well and it doesn't look bad but it's very functional because it now has a good length of pull for me so that's a good way to solve this problem didn't cost a whole lot so here's that recoil pad Butler Creek small small size for the Marlin 336 and there it is again installed with the sling swivel installed. Bye for now.